Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about PC versus Mac. What platform is better for video editing in 2018? Basically, just running through both of these uh, both of these platforms. This video honestly has the potential to split my audience down the middle. Huge part of my audience is on the PC, and a huge part of my audience is on the Mac. So, without further ado, let's jump into PC versus Mac. What platform is better for video editing? Basically, a few different points I've organized for both of these particular platforms, and uh, definitely going to weigh them both up. Number one, I'm going to start with PC simply because I gravitate to it to it just much more than I do the Mac anymore. However, don't worry, I'm actually getting a MacBook Pro in the next month or something like that, and uh, I'm pretty much just gonna be messing around with that much more again. PC wins in uh, lots of different categories. Number one, I'm gonna talk about the most obvious one, undoubtedly, specs and performance. PC is vastly more powerful than the Mac, and the only reason that is possible is because you have so much customization possible to you, whereas Mac does not really offer that same customization. I will get into customizability down the line a little bit, but overall, you can put a much better graphics card in your computer than what came. You can upgrade the RAM super easy. Basically, you can build on top of your computer, kind of just like Lego, and uh, you know, build it to the point where it has better components than it came with. Very, very cool, and overall, you know what I mean? In terms of just power, the computer can pack way crazier power because for that customization ability, uh, customizability option rather, where you could buy like a 400 pound computer and then go out and buy yourself like, a, you know what I mean, thousand pound graphics card or something like that and simply put it in the computer and it would just extremely, you know, up the quality and the speed of all your edits, making it much more powerful. Um, but of course you can't do that on a Mac. Next up, um, to support the computer, bang for your buck, that really does follow along with what I was just saying with the customizability. Um, however, there's also some down points with the bang for your buck, right? So I'll explain this, explain this concept. Uh, a Mac, when you buy a Mac brand new, right, you are actually definitely gonna have to uh, pay thousands, like minimum. A MacBook Pro, that's probably the one you'd wanna get for actual editing. That's personally the one I'm getting. Um, thousands, definitely thousands. Uh, whereas a computer, like a PC, you could uh, build essentially a thousand pound computer or a multiple thousand pound computer, multiple thousand dollar computer, but you could do it for much less purely because of this customization kind of option really where you could buy all the parts and put it together for an extremely discounted price. Um, however, more power for less money, right? Which is an absolutely huge bonus in the PC side, but this kind of comes with, uh, with a downside as well. Whereas you, um, well, whereas all the new parts are constantly being uh, created, right? Every year there's new graphics cards coming out from NVIDIA. Every year there's new uh, RAM coming out. Every year there's new processors, right? Whereas um, there's still all that stuff coming out for Mac. However, the Mac is a pre-built system, right? So the stuff that they give you, it's still resellable as a Mac, right? If you buy a, a computer or you build a computer, a year, two years later, you definitely can't sell this for uh, even close to the price that you put it all together for, even if you put it together for less money than the Mac, um, because obviously all those parts are now old, whereas a Mac doesn't depreciate as fast in value. The Mac brand is still very, very reputable, and uh, a Mac from a couple years ago, because Macs have such good software, um, such good hardware rather, um, honestly, they don't deteriorate, uh, deteriorate or kind of get irrelevant as fast. So the resale value on a computer is not great at all because obviously the parts just go out of date super, super quick. Each year there's new stuff being released. They can't really keep up, whereas the Mac still holds its value for years and years and years down the road. Um, so if you're not worried about the resale value, definitely buy a computer. If you are worried about the resale value and maybe you're just trying to get this, this system to kind of do you over until the next one, then maybe consider going to Mac because you're definitely going to be able to get much more of your investment back. Whereas you wouldn't really able to, uh, to, you wouldn't be able to really do that with the computer. I'm telling you, I bought my computer for, uh, just under a grand, like three years ago. And, um, there's no way I could even get like. 500 for it probably I think I could maybe get like two three hundred so drastically 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 lower um, Resell than if I had a new Mac on my hands. You know what I mean? 
Anyways, up to point number three is the upgradability. Yes, I've talked about this quite a bit now, so we don't have to go into it too much, but Mac, obviously, very limited in the fact that they just give you a pre-built system. You know what I mean? Here's your Mac, uh, do what you want with it, but you can't really upgrade. Um, I suppose you could take it to certain people who can maybe fiddle around with it and upgrade it. Personally, I'm not the biggest tech wizard like that. Um, so the upgradability is vastly limited, whereas uh, a desktop like the computer I have down here, right, um, is extremely customization, uh, customizable. You can simply take off the case and, you know, plug some RAM in there, put a graphics card in there. Super easy. It's basically like Lego. You just slot it into the right slot and it's super easy. So that is such a big bonus in the computer's favor. Obviously, if your computer is acting up, you can see which part of the computer is being strained the most and then just replace that specific piece instead of having to get the entire computer replaced, whereas that could be a, a problem you'd face if you're going with a pre-built system. All PCs are upgradable. Laptops are much more limited in the upgradability. Unless you're going with like a razor blade or maybe an Alienware or something that's super powerful, right, on the laptop PC side, I probably wouldn't get a PC laptop. If, you're, if you really want a laptop, I get Mac because unless you're spending even, even, you know, more money to buy like a razor blade, which is pretty much the best one, I think, or I guess the Alienware as well, um, it's pretty much not worth getting a, uh, a PC um, laptop. All right, jumping straight into the Mac side of things, right? 100% absolutely no word of a lie, the optimization. Optimization and uh, well, the reason the reason optimization is so good is because of, I'm gonna be talking more specifically about Final Cut. Yes, Final Cut is of course created on, uh, created by Apple, right? So it is the same developer, I believe, right? Creating the software as it's the same developer creating the hardware. You know, I mean, the same people making the computer as it is the people making the program. So they work so, so well together. You've probably heard this and you might have even seen me talk about this in my Final Cut versus Premiere Pro video. Um, basically, Final Cut is optimized amazingly because it is the same manufacturer. So they've really enabled it to work hand in hand. It's pretty much the same thing as saying if you know what I mean, Adobe started creating PCs and we all went out and got an Adobe PC. Damn it, After Effects and Premiere Pro would be working very, very fast on that uh, uh, on that Adobe PC, right? Because it's the same manufacturer making the hardware as it is that's making the actual software, right? Boom, 100% optimization wise, Mac is the go-to. However, that kind of does only apply for uh, Premiere Pro. So if you're not a Premiere Pro user, maybe that optimization isn't as um, kind of emphasized, right? <laughs> But um, that's definitely not really possible on PC because like I said, uh, the PCs are so vastly different. So many different brand names in your computer, like your graphics cards from one brand name, your RAM could be from another, your uh, processor from a whole different, that nothing's really gonna be optimized and uh, it's just extremely tough for people to optimize that, right? Next up on the Mac support list is the performance. Boom, performance for a couple different reasons. The main reason is the battery life. Um, Macs honestly are gonna have the longest kind of um, the longest editing time with the least battery decrease, right? So on a Windows computer, if you're editing, honestly, uh, the editing strains the processor heavily, strains the graphics card heavily, uh, depending on the program, strains the RAM heavily. This is gonna heavily decrease your battery life, whereas Macs. Macs are known to uh, put up with this a lot, lot better and actually result in sustaining your battery life for loads longer than the normal, um, you know what I mean, time would. It's gonna, your battery life is gonna be drained far, far slower than if you were using a computer. But of course that only applies to the laptops. And I just said a second ago for the PC section, really if you do wanna buy a laptop for video editing, I think 100% you should buy a Mac. So, Really, that point there is kind of pointless if you're gonna listen to me and actually just get a Mac if you want a, um, what's it called, if, if, if you want a laptop, but not all PC laptops are terrible. But like I said, unless you're really gonna consider getting a razor blade or a uh, Alienware, um, probably just the razor blade as well, then I probably would just go for a Mac laptop or get yourself a desktop PC. 
Anyways, number three for the Mac, usability. Oh my God, usability and easiness and quickness. I just, I'm just gonna call it usability, but damn it. This is the pure truth. And there's a huge point in favor of the Mac. And this is the fact that when you buy a Mac and you bring it home and you open it up, it's just ready to go, period. You don't have to go through hour, two hours of installing all these bullshit drivers and uh, you know what I mean, these add-ons and uh, updates and all this nonsense, which you 100% have to do when you open up your computer, right? This stuff is tedious, it's time consuming, it's tedious, it's bullshit. Honestly, Mac doesn't come with any of this dumb stuff where you have to install a thousand drivers and uh, and then you know keep tweaking everything to make sure everything works. And the sad the sad part about this uh, this fact here is that as a user of Windows, you do get used to this. You kind of just think this is standard how it is. You know what I mean? And and you don't really care too much about it. Um, you do just get comfortable doing it. It's not the biggest problem in the world. Uh, you obviously don't have to be doing these uh, annoying driver updates every day, but definitely um, even doing them once is more than you're ever gonna have to go through this problem on Mac. So that's a huge point in Mac's favor. Also, Mac has a destination you can bring these things back to. Oftentimes, if you're creating a custom computer, which is pretty much what you're gonna need for video editing, there's not a set destination you can bring this new custom computer back to if stuff starts breaking. Whereas a Mac, obviously, if a Mac breaks, you can bring that Mac into a Mac store, the Apple store, and the dudes behind the Genius Bar will help you figure it out. Or you could bring it to an actual, um, you know what I mean, Apple repair store or something like that, where there's actually designated places to sort all this stuff out designated official places. That's the key. But thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack Riss, Jack Co. This video here has been PC vs Mac. What platform is better for video editing? Overall, very interesting video. Um, tell me in the comment section below whether you agree with my points here, disagree with my points here, or just, I don't know, somewhere in between. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I've been Jack Riss, Jack Co. Have a nice day and goodbye.